Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles Savance. We want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. Today, we got a show that I can't even believe uh, that we're actually producing. Before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, as you guys know, the Super Bowl just concluded. And everyone is talking about it. Is Patrick Mahomes, you know, Patrick Mahomes, is he better than Tom Brady? All of these different things, right? And we recently got the figures that came out uh, stating the following, that the Super Bowl brought in a record-breaking, according to NFL ESPN, 103.4 103 million viewers. The most viewed uh, television program event, whatever you want to call it, in the history of the United States. Never, ever happened before. Now, what do you know about the NFL? <clears throat> the NFL is the number one sport in the United States, the biggest sport by far. Um, we even spoke about this a few weeks ago to Marcelo Swally asking him why that is, uh, why the NFL is such a bigger draw than every other sport. And he said, because it's, it's easier to consume. It's not like the NBA where things are happening so fast, whereas the NFL, you can digest it and all of that. Um, so, <clears throat> He gave his explanation, right? NFL is a very big deal. And as you guys know, the biggest NFL person at ESPN is Pat McAfee, right? Biggest person at ESPN with the Pat McAfee show. So yesterday, they were having this conversation around <clears throat> who's the biggest draw in sports. The question was LeBron James <clears throat> or Patrick Mahomes. They're going back and forth. Pat McAfee says LeBron, the other the other panelist says, uh, excuse me, Pat McAfee says uh, uh, Mahomes, the other panelist says Mahomes, and then Shannon Sharp said LeBron. In the midst of their conversation, though, however, it got to a point where Molly Kern brought up Lionel Messi. And they were like, Pat McAfee was like, yeah, man, he's, 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 he's of course, Lionel Messi. And then he goes off and to say, but soccer is a horrible 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 sports to watch sport to watch and when he said that i was actually floored because i could not believe that those words came out of a professional commentator on espn but before we even get into that this video is brought to you by our sponsor prize picks prize picks is really simple instead of just selecting a team you just select two or more players pick more or less their projected stats and then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries. Stephen Curry for more than 25 points. And then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks. And Damian Lillard for more for more than four three-pointers made. Price Picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And once again, once you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do is we want to play exactly what Pat McAfee had to say here. And then we're going to come back and continue on the show. Take a listen to what he had to say here. Hey, Shannon, I'm going to say this. When I was in high school, Braun was a couple years older than me. His high school team, St. X, came and played the Pennsylvania All-Stars in Pittsburgh. The entire state of Pennsylvania put together an All-Star team to play against LeBron James's high school team. And I was in high school. Sold out the arena. LeBron yeah. has been selling out arenas literally since he's like 15, 16 years old. So I can understand why you're saying what you're saying. And then you think about Omar, who runs ESPN social media. He's literally made an entire career being considered one of the greatest interneters of all time off of LeBron James and LeBron James's family. Let's not even talk about just LeBron James. On the internet, he's been able to do it. But right now, I mean, if this question was asked like 10 years ago, I think to Molly's point, five years ago, maybe even four years ago before Patrick Mahomes has become mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes, I think LeBron James might be the answer. And I... I understand complete because he still sells out every a building he goes into Shannon every yeah. building that LeBron goes into is selling out that is just how it's always been so I can see how that's uh yeah I, I, do, mean, think pretty big the, I do think the messy takes pretty interesting though yeah I mean look Go, at what he's done sure. if we're talking global box office I mean look Go, at what he's done sure. if we're talking global box office 
What and he did coming to Miami. To watch. What, what about Ronaldo? Yeah, but like suddenly I'm in. Suddenly I'm into soccer. Like what is this? Yes, hold on. Me too. Me it's terrible I know. to watch. We're, we're on it's the bandwagon. Sport to watch. Pat, Pat, we got right on the bandwagon. When he said that, I was floored. Totally floored that Pat McAfee would say that soccer is a horrible sport to watch. Now, I can see if he said, I don't enjoy watching soccer. Fine. I don't enjoy watching maybe uh, uh, another sport. Hell, I don't know, hockey, whatever the hell it is. Fine. But to then say it's a horrible sport to watch, you lose a lot of credibility as a sports commentator when you say a statement like that. That is an extremely myopic thing to say for so many reasons. We just mentioned at the beginning of the show, the Super Bowl brought in 103.4 million viewers, according to NFL ESPN viewers. The last World Cup brought in over 4 billion viewers. Let me give you guys some other information. I asked, I asked the question, how many people watch the English Premier League? If you don't know what that is, then I don't know what to say to you. The English Premier League is the sports is the most watched sports league in the world broadcast in 220 and 12 territories to over 643 million homes with a potential audience of 4.7 billion people are you telling me that all of those people watching soccer are not enjoying what they're watching is that what you're telling me? Because you don't like soccer. So therefore, what they're watching is what? They just must be there wasting their time. When you see Lionel Messi walk around, name the other athlete walking on planet Earth. Apart from a very select few, like maybe Michael Jordan and others. They get that they gets that type of reaction. <clears throat> Forget about Lionel Messi. Let's talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo has 621 million followers. He's the most followed person in the world. Lionel Messi is at 500 million. These two gentlemen have over a billion people following them around the world. Over a billion. Maybe you've been living under a rock. You, heard of, you ever heard of a footballer by the name of Mbappe? The guy that Saudi Arabia offered? Over a billion dollars or $900 million or whatever it was for one year. Did you hear about that? When they were off in PSG, I think 230 something million dollars to break his contract. Why do you think they would do that? Did anybody watching this show see the World Cup? The last World Cup between um, France and Argentina. I saw it. It was one of the most entertaining sport, sporting uh, games, whatever you want to call it, I have ever seen in my life. Regardless of the sport. Regardless of the sport. And I don't even watch football like that, soccer like that. I don't follow any leagues, nothing. But to say that soccer is a horrible sport to watch, you're doing a terrible disservice to your audience and it is, it is extremely myopic. That is a flat out disgraceful comment. If you say you don't enjoy it, that's one thing. But to say it's a horrible sport to watch. Do you know cricket is the second biggest sport in the world in terms of viewership? I don't watch cricket. I don't watch it. But I would never say it's a horrible sport to watch. You lose people when you have a sport that's, that gets billions of people watching to then turn around and say it's a horrible sport to watch. What? What? Who says that? 
And Pat McAfee is supposed to be somebody that's worth over $100 million, well-traveled, and you let a comment like that come out of your mouth? That it's a horrible sport to watch? Regardless if you and I, or whether or not you and I watch football is irrelevant. What's important is that there are a lot of people that watch football that get more worked up over football than any other sport in the world. It's not even close. So whenever you hear these people talking about the biggest athletes in the world in the United States, they're not serious. They're saying the world, but it's not the world. They're just talking about the United States. That's all. They make it seem like it's the world. And unfortunately, that's why some Americans believe that the world is, is, is only in the United States. Anybody talking about the biggest athletes in the world and they start listing people and you don't hear Bep, uh, Mbappe, you don't hear Messi, you don't hear Ronaldo. They're not serious. You're not even serious. Now, some people said, well, it's not fair because soccer is, is watched all over the world. But the NBA isn't. What kind of ignorant nonsense is that? I'm in Nigeria and I can see football, uh, bas uh, basketball. There are people in China that can see basketball. There are people in Italy that can see basketball. There are people in Germany that can see basketball. What? Why are people so stupid? What are you talking about? That is, is, is watch, like as if what? So only people in the United States can watch basketball? What are we talking about? You can watch it everywhere. I watch Formula One. And it's a sport that takes place all over the world what that was one of the dumbest ignorant comments i have ever heard come out of the mouth of a sports personality that right there was ignorant because there's nothing to prove that apart from his opinion you could have said it's a horrible sport for me to watch horrible for me but to say a horrible sport, that is the stupidest thing I've heard in a very long time. I am sorry to say it. That was stupid. These are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comment section. We catch you on the next show. Peace.